Welcome back to the program. This is KTN Business. KCB Group today announced its half-year financial results with a 14% jump in profit before tax. KCB cited a 1% decline in total assets from 567 billion to 560 billion shillings, mainly due to South Sudan's currency devaluation. The unstable business environment in the region saw customer deposits drop by 2% from 443 billion to 433 billion Kenya shillings. Chief Financial Officer Lawrence Kiambi stated a larger percentage of customers made deposits in KCB Bank in South Sudan as opposed to limited borrowing. It hopes to deepen investments even elsewhere by supporting small and medium enterprises going forward. Compare full year last year and full year this year, the impact then will sort of correct itself. Right now, because we are comparing different periods when the currency was 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 uh, was one controlled uh, and now not controlled. That's why you're seeing a very huge huge impact on the on the balance sheet. We have a few hiccups here and there. The environment is a little bit severe occasionally, but on average uh, we are able to play. Burundi has not been very comfortable working. Uh, but we are there with others, and we are still able to account for everything we want to do there, and also even uh, realize some uh, reasonable progress. South Sudan, uh, for the first time, really uh, came around two of their own problems, and uh, KCB again uh, was able to navigate through those turbulence, um, join the national efforts in evacuating staff where it was necessary, secure all the assets that we need to secure.